Good morning, Lancers, and welcome back to Lancers in the News. It's the first Friday of November, but more importantly, spooky season's over. 20 more days till Thanksgiving. It's not like I'm counting or anything, though. Yeah, clearly. Anyways, many of you have a big month ahead, but before you seize the month, we've got a lot of important announcements for everyone, so let's get to it. We'll start with the seniors. Your class of 2019 specialty design sweatshirt is ready to be ordered. Pick up an order form outside the ASB office today. These awesome sweatshirts will be sold for a low, low price of $20 and you can wear them to school. Order forms and money will be collected all next week during lunch at the student store. Looking for a unique Christmas gift? How about ordering one for your bestie or for your entire squad? Make sure that you place an order early and quick. You only have one week to place your order. Next Friday, November 9th, is the last day to order your class of 2019 senior sweatshirt. No exceptions. Your yearbook dedication page is due today, no later than 3.30 p.m. If you would like a page or portion of a page in this year's book, please return the order form, first payment, and all materials to the front office ASAP. Also, seniors, your senior quote is also due today by 3.30 p.m. Please review the directions and guidelines before submitting. If you have any questions regarding anything, you, anything your book, please see Ms. Joseph or email yearbook at bishopamad.org. Attention seniors and juniors who signed up for the Christian Service for Life or CS4 Life. You must turn in your registration papers and $10 fee as soon as possible to your religion teacher. Sophomores going on Caritas retreat on November 14th or 15th you must turn in your permission forms to your theology teacher ASAP. Keep in mind that this retreat is a requirement. If you lost your forms, they're available to download on the Christian, on the Christian Service website. St. Joseph's School in La Puente needs volunteers for the Dia de los Muertos celebration. Tomorrow, November 3rd from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. The schedule is flexible, so you may come anytime to volunteer. For more information, take a picture of the flyer on the CS bulletin board. Let's take a little break and get serious. A secure and orderly safety policy is essential to have anywhere, but especially at schools. School shootings have unfortunately been so very common in the past years that, is, that it is only right that schools implement such a policy and have it practiced by their staff and students, which is what Bishop Amat did a few weeks ago. Let's get some more information on our school safety policy. With the recent shooting in Pittsburgh, we went around asking students and staff of Bishop Mod High School about our new active shooter policies and how we are keeping the students and staff safe. Uh, the new school policy of run, hide, fight is part of a national trend uh, to kind of change how schools respond to active threat shooters and other things like that. We went to Mr. Canales to find out the difference between a regular partial lockdown and a full lockdown. We have a, a partial lockdown and we'll make uh, the police will tell us when it's when it's clear and then we have a full lockdown procedure and this this will initiate if there's immediate threat of a person that's on campus um, we will be on on lockdown until it is all clear uh, i think uh, we will do a very good job of, of keeping the, our students safe here at bishop Mont. thank you this is part of a new school policy called run hide fight What's been determined, sadly, through these tragedies is that law enforcement, national security agencies, and others are saying, if you have the opportunity to escape, then that should be kind of your first notion. Thank you, Mr. David. How do you guys feel about the new policy? I feel like it makes us feel safer in class, knowing what to do. I feel like I'm more aware of like what's going to happen if we ever are put in that situation. Thank you. At least there's a school shooter in the school. We have a better chance to survive. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. I think that the new policy, like the best option to do is to run and hide because I don't really think that fighting the shooter is really the best option. Thank you. This is Joey Calderon reporting for The Lance. Thanks, guys. Are you looking for something different to do this weekend? Then come to the PAB and check out the fall drama production of the classic play, Arsenic and the Old Lace. The performances are Saturday at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. and Sunday at 2 p.m. and can be used to fulfill your VAPA requirement. Admission is $10. See you there for some murderous fun. This Bishop Alma Chamber Singers will be singing at the LA Cathedral this Sunday in recognition for all the medical professionals. 
The choir is continuously asked to sing for this Mass every year and is a great honor for them. Please join us for Mass at the Cathedral this Sunday at 3.30 p.m. Your support is greatly appreciated. Are you good at making paper airplanes? Want to learn how? The Maker Club will have a paper airplane competition next Thursday after school in the quad. There will be an AP Club meeting on Tuesday, November 6th at 1 o'clock in room 107. Any student enrolled in an AP course is welcome to attend. Please eat lunch before you arrive to the meeting. Students who picked up a permission form to challenge the AP Spanish or AP Ch Chinese exam must return those forms to Ms. McCullough by Friday, November 9th. Late forms will not be accepted and you will not be able to sit for the exam. Before we go any further, here's Matthew Acosta to give you a rundown on our sports from this week. Hey there Lancers, let me get you all caught up on this week in sports. Girls Tennis competed in their first round of the CAF playoffs this week and came out victorious ten, in a 10 to 8 victory. They will compete in the second round later today. Good luck Lancers. Now on to the field, where, where football will be taking on Mission Viejo in the first round of the CAF playoffs later tonight. The Lancers have, competed against, have completed an undefeated season after beating Alamany with a game-winning touchdown on pass from Blake Archuleta to Jay Nallen. Their Lancers are currently ranked 31st in the country, and Mission Viejo is currently ranked 33rd in the country. So be ready for a great game tonight. And if you can't make it out to a game, make sure to follow Almont Sports on Twitter for in-game updates. Good luck, Lancers. Now back to you guys. On Monday, November 19th, Bishop Mott will be having a blood drive in the Carroll Center. For those students who want to donate blood, they must... Complete the Google form sent to their email address. Be in good health, be 16 years old and 200, 120 pounds, or 17 years older and weigh 110 pounds, and sign a re and return a parent consent form regardless of age, which is attached and posted outside room 205. Student donors will get three Christian service hours and a free t-shirt from the City of Hope. This Monday, November 5th, is the last trial for both girls and boys soccer. Students still interested in playing soccer should re report to the practice field by 6.15 a.m. this Monday. Representatives from the following colleges will be visiting our campus. Today, Cal Poly Pomona. Tuesday, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Thursday, UC Merced. Mount St. Mary's University will be conducting on-site admissions at Bishop Amont on November 14th. Please see Mr. Scott for, half, for hall passes or appointments or these opportunities. One last reminder, homecoming pictures are in the ASB office. Come pick them up during lunch or after school. Well that ties it all up for this week folks. Thanks for watching and see you all next week. Have an awesome day Lancers and let's get, get this bread. bread.